you're just joining us for part three, we're down here at the 16th. I'm currently one up on Trevor. We're here at the long 200 plus yard par three. Trevor's taking a hybrid. I'll, I'll be taking a hybrid as well. Yeah, the wind's, wind's pretty calm though. If there is any, it is off the right. There's that one bunker guard on the right. Pins all the way in the back. That is absolutely hammered. Get going. Beautiful shot, Trevor. You guys can't see what a good shot that was. That was incredible. Great shot. He's also going with the hybrid. Came it up a little higher, maybe trying to take a little off of it. Again, wind is off the right. Apologize for the plane. Same line, maybe a little further left. Still pierced. Yep, that's good too. Back side of the green. So we both got it on this back tier. It's probably about 220. Casey's up there, mine's just about there, rolled off the back. But again, birdie looks on this hole are rare. Is it gonna break in? <laughs> really good putt, that's good. Pick it up from there. JC in for his par. So Trevor's did actually roll farther just off the back, but it was still a heck of a shot from back there. This is for his birdie. Just gotta slow down, slow down. Okay. So Trevor now to clean up for his par and keep himself within one with two holes to play after this. Yep, good putt. So two pars there as we head to the 17th. 17th, now we got two to play. JC's one up. My time's running out. It's another narrow tee shot. back to the right edge. Yeah, good shot, big bounce. Well, okay, this Trevor's up now. This is probably my favorite tee shot on the entire course, to be honest with you. Just letting you know now, I'm notorious for going way right here. Yes, he is. Not this time, high fade. Yeah, same, same line as mine. JC's got about 125, I'm guessing. Into this hole, lens you can see it just in front of his. Not much wind right now. Are you going pitching wedge? Yeah. I feel like I might just do more putts. Yeah, it's so easy with it. Yep. It is downhill a little bit. I don't think it's how on camera. So Trevor's taking a little bit less than I did. He's taking a 52 degree. Good lie. Pretty cool. Just gonna keep it right in the bunkers. Sounded good. He's got to fade a little bit. Just left of the flag stick. He's pin high. It's kind of tough to see the green. He actually is pin high, but he's just off to the left. Uh, so he's, he's fine. So Trevor now for his birdie, if he makes this, we'll be all square through through the 17th hole, but really our, only our 8th hole for the day, going into the last. Come down that hill. Oh, you left it short. Not a bad line. Yep. JC clutched this to keep the one up going into the last hole. I'm in for par. This is his chance now for a great up and down in the bunker if he can make it. Oh! 
Oh, again. <sighs> wow. Well, I guess you're gonna get to see an 18th hole. Here we go. We're here for our final tee shots of the day. It's coming down to be a pretty good match. We're all square on the last hole. I think JC's two over and I'm three. Oh, we might both be three over now. out to the right but really not too bad on this hole we got a lot of room over there it's another par five can be reachable trevor's last tee shot of the day Nothing. pretty good just off the right side of the fairway yeah he likes it here's jc's look at the second shot on 18 it's par five Probably just trying to make a par to have a chance to win the hole. Low line drive. It'll work though. Not what, he, so not what he wanted, but he's got got a good angle into the pin for a chance for an up and down for birdie. So Trevor's planning on getting aggressive here, he says. He's got it three wood. He's got a long ways to go. There's a bunker, there's two bunkers on the right, one in the very back behind the hole, and the pin is right in the middle of both bunkers. Plenty of room on the left side of the green, not much on the right. He's got a decent lie. Let it fly. Goes after it, it's gonna be short, I think it's in that bunker. Short of the bunker. JC's right here hitting his third. Mine is up short of this bunker in that shadow up there. That'll be my third. We're all square. With our third shots into the 18th green. It's crunch time. Just got about 90 yards. I think it's going full 56 degree. Maybe 52. Yeah. So it's going to come up a little short. Not too bad, front of the green. Not his best though. Big shot coming here for Trevor. This is his third shot, short-sided, not the greatest of lies, a little clumpy grass. This is his third shot. Just fine, that's fine. You guys couldn't quite see it. Right there, about pin high, both putting for birdie. All right, so here we are in the 18th green, our ninth hole, final hole of the match. Off square, JC's got this for birdie. My mark is just right there. It's my birdie as well. Let's see, one of us should make this. Oh, this looks really good. Oh! oh. Skids past the edge. Still got some work to do for his par though. Mine's pretty straight up the hill. So Trevor now, for the win, he's got this birdie pot straight up the hill. Let's see if he can make up for a poor ball striking around with the clutch putt here at the end. Is he the comeback kid? Never a doubt. <laughs> there he what is. What can I say? Your champion, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, comeback kid. <laughs> All right, so besides those uh, first couple of holes of golf, it seems to be a pretty good match. Uh, I won one up, I think I shot three over. He shot, actually, I shot two over with the birdie. Jason shot three over. But uh, it was a good day for golf. So, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks, guys. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like the video, and uh, let us know if you want to see some more coming. All right, see ya. See you guys.